I'm going to be adjusting the snail position, which is really the position of the hour hand on this clock. And the hour hand gears in to this part of the motion gears here. And it's really easy to get it sort of one tooth off of where it belongs. And if you do, why, if you do get it one, one or two teeth off of where it belongs, why, what will happen is the clock will chime, the clock will strike incorrectly sometimes because this, this snail won't be exactly aligned with the rack that falls down into it. So, to get going here, the first thing we have to do is figure out, we have to get the hour hand pointed to, I'm sorry, the minute hand pointed to the 12. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just fasten the minute hand onto wherever I like. Uh, wherever it currently happens to be. And it happens to be right there. And I'm going to tighten that on. Just a moment. There. Okay. Now, I don't know whether the minute hand's really supposed to point the other way or this way. So, all I have to do is move the minute hand until the clock strikes, and then I see what's going on. So, Without a snail, if it's striking the hour, it's going to strike beyond 12. So we can tell the difference between the half hour strike and the hour strike. So I'm going to move the minute hand here. And you can see this is the half hour strike. Because it only raised the rack enough to drop it down just one chime. One strike. And now there it goes, one. And now when I move it around up to... Here, so I lucked out, and this is the way the minute hand is supposed to be. So as I move the minute hand toward the 12 here, while well, you see the rack dropped all the way down, and I, as I move it to the point where it strikes, it's going to strike away at the hour. So now that we know where the minute hand is, that the minute hand is on the hour, I can take that off, and I'm going to position the hour hand now. And with it, the snail that controls how many strikes the clock does at any particular time. So I'm going to just drop it in here. And I don't know if you can see how it's really not lined up. The hour hand is not lined up with, the, with 12 o'clock, the space right between these two points that holds the pendulum, suspension rod. So I know that's a little off, so I'm going to pick the thing up and just move the, tooth, move the gear one tooth over. And that's closer. That might be right. That might be right. But let me move it one more. And that's way off. So back there, back one. That's with the hour hand at 12 o'clock. So now I've got the snail positioned properly, and I can put in the clip that keeps, let's see, this little clip here that keeps the snail from popping off. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this video is I used to have this smaller clip holding the snail in, and what would happen is when the clip happened to rotate around why there was a space where it could let the snail go by and then the clock would start chiming or striking at all sorts of weird hours. So I think I've got everything set now so um, I can now put the clip in and this is a real pain. I can put this clip in to hold the snail in place. I can pop that in there. Can you use some more blunt pliers here? Push it along. There it goes. Now it's in place. Okay. It has a little bit of slide, but not a lot. You can see there. Uh, but you can also see that I've let the hour hand, the snail, slip out of place. So I have to do this all over again. So what I'm going to try to do here is get the needle nose pliers in so I can push on the sides of the clip. Ah, there it went. 
I could push on the sides of the clip with one half of the pliers and the top of the gear with the other so that it just pushes the clip out. Now that the clip is out, I can put the hour back where it belongs. Once again, I move it over one tooth. That's way too far that direction. Put it back. Move it over one in that direction. That's way too far that direction. So we know... Yeah. We know that that right there is noon. Now I can put the clip back. Okay, it's part way on now. And I should be able to do the reverse trick of what I did to get the clip in there this the first time except this time I'm going to hold the ah, ha, ha, ha. I hold the snail down so the clip doesn't so the snail doesn't move and now the clip's in place <laughs> good yeah the clip's just great there it isn't going anywhere yeah it rotates nicely and now you can see the snail can't get away so now the clock should strike at the right times. Let me put the hour hand back on. I mean the minute hand, sorry. And try that out. Uh -huh. Let me put the nut back on here. Okay, so there we are at 12 o'clock. Okay, it struck 11 correctly, which is good. Now here's the big test, 12 o'clock. And then 1 o'clock is the next one. We need to make sure that the rack doesn't sort of catch halfway between 12 and 1, and it, it isn't. Perfect. So we have the uh, hour hand and the corresponding snail in the right place, so now I can reassemble the clock into the case and uh, set it running.